Boris Johnson has proved the UK doesn't need the EU as he takes the lead in urging US President Joe Biden to extend the Kabul evacuation deadline following the Taliban's Afghanistan takeover. The leaders will speak during an emergency G7 summit on Tuesday as the government presses for American troops to remain beyond August 31st to secure the capital's airport for rescue flights. Ministers still want to evacuate thousands more people including UK passport holders and those under the Afghan Relocations and Assistance Policy Arab, scheme. But Mr. Biden signaled on Sunday that he did not want US armed forces to stay in the Central Asian country beyond August. Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said it was in the Taliban's interest to keep the country open. He added, of course, the United States and the G7 are not the only stakeholders in this, the Taliban, now, have a vote and the security situation is precarious, and I think that's why we have to see what we can do. I think what I would also say is that it's in the Taliban's interest to keep the country open, there are border crossing points into Islamabad and in Pakistan to some of the other neighboring countries that are open, government insiders told express.co.uk the request for a meeting by Mr Johnson will help to assert the UK's dominance in handling the crisis. A number 10 source added, Boris will give his message to President Biden and press for an extension. Whilst this is not guaranteed, we are making our position clear on the global stage. However, the move has received divided attention among Westminster politicians today. Tory MP Sir John Redwood said the UK worked best when we do what we think is right and construct alliances and support groups accordingly. The Wokingham MP continued, Global Britain means having our own policy and recruiting allies for each mission or cause. The UK establishment should not seek to do what the USA or EU presses us to do unless it is right for us. The EU was never our best friend and has revealed since we left just how much it still wants to control us in its interests and those of its two leading powerful members, France and Germany. President Biden's foolish decision to pull out unilaterally overnight from Afghanistan has done great damage to alliances and to the Middle East.